We minding my business and leave me yours alone. We talking about me. Your job is all the camera, motherfucker. I'm um, Eric Kelly, born in Titusville, Florida, raised in Brooklyn, New York. Fuck out my way. Four-time national amateur boxing champ. That's a hook we taught. Two-time New York City Golden Glove champ. I can't believe you're still on this side of the dirt. <laughs> I really can't. 2000 Olympic team alternate. Where you get the old ass Top Gun haircut from? Two-time ranked number one in the USA. Why are you poking your ass out like that? You know you want somebody to get behind you? Also ranked number four in the world. As long as you've been coming here, you don't know how to slip and go to the body? Dumb motherfucker, boy. I had a pretty successful amateur career. Eric Kelly, clearly the hungrier fighter. However, I got injured in a street altercation. My left eye got hit, pulled stick and whatnot. So that gave me a floater in the nerves and the muscle in my eyelid, a very weak. However, I'm still doing something I love, boxing, training people. Even though I'm training a bunch of fucking nerds, Wall Street guys, no coordination. They're just not athletic people. They got me here with that. Look, look at this motherfucker right here on the back. Look, look, look at this motherfucker here on the back. Look, look at the uppercut. Look at the uppercut. Look at the uppercut. Look at the uppercut, look at the uppercut like this. <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> do your uppercut again. Do your uppercut again. It's terrible. Like the worst thing in the world. Jesus. Double jab, right uppercut, left hook, right hand. Double jab, right uppercut, left hook, right hand. Do it. A lot of these cats, I wish they just forget the address to the gym. You know, everything is not for everybody. You don't see me going to motherfucking Wall Street picking up a fucking briefcase trying to type, do you? Because that's not what the fuck I do. I beat the fuck out of people, you know what I mean? Now you got these pieces of shit want to come here and feel like men at the end of the day. Because, oh, I did something. I put, I punched the buzz. Yeah, you's a fucking wuss. You know, and you couldn't last a day in my shoes. Why you got this shit all up? How the fuck you gonna boil your fist? You got this shit all up doing your fucking knuckles, you dumb shit. You wrap the knuckle, but you don't come all the way up to the middle of the finger. You got somebody to show you how to put on your socks. You look like all the nerds just had a convention on your body. Like all the nerds of the world that say, you know what? I know where to go. And they chose your punk ass. Motherfuckers beat you up as a kid and they still do the day. You're a grown ass man. I bet you got, I bet, I bet somebody get you a wedgie on your way here. <laughs> I bet you fought thread come out. Like I said, it's just not built for it. Everything ain't for everybody. See, they cut from different cloths. Some people is cut from leather. Like, you take a person of my caliber, I'm cut from leather, I'm cut from suede. You know what I mean? I ride the bullet. That's what I do. Woo! Body locks. What's going on, body locks? Look at that motherfucker here. That motherfucker here about five different colors. Count the different colors in his head. It's like every earth tone in the color matrix. I got the color, let's go, baby. Where you get them young ass shorts from? It's like 1972 NBA Eastern Conference Final shorts. Hell no, nah, you can't even do this, much less dance. Hey, it's a job, you know what I mean? And especially in America, you having a job is a blessing. And doing something you love is a blessing, I, even if the people are miscreants. But, you know, that's how it goes. I mean, I got a few people that I love, and the staff is great. I couldn't ask for a better staff. If I couldn't ask for a better job, they make this worthwhile. It's just that some majority, most, practically all these motherfuckers here suck. Church Street Boxing Gym, where everybody come to get fucked with. Who's gonna be the MC? I guess they want to tempt me to clown these lazy, raggly, stupid dudes whose style is so corny. Yeah, they making money working on Wall Street, but in their mouth is where all the balls meet.